Tours France is located mere minutes away from the Loire Valley. It's around one hour, 40 minute train ride from Paris, so it's an easy day trip. There's lots of great places to eat in Tours as well as decently priced hotels. Check out my two star room walkthrough at the end of this video. hot olives here. I don't know why. They just do. Uh, we're about to get a pizza. Let's see how it is. I had to use Google Translate to um, describe that I wanted to try a, a cognac cocktail, one that wasn't too sweet. I recommend Google Translate app and uh, offline maps if you're going to get here because um, you'll find spots that no one speaks English at all. It may sound weird at first, but you can have them talk to you through it, and you can communicate. Uh, I like the chateaus here in Tours. I like the cognac, Hennessy, and, and the castle tour. The first chateau I visited is in the town of Longer. It's about a 30 minute train ride from the town of Tours. The train ticket to see Chateau costs around $16 US round trip. An entry into the Chateau Longer costs around 9 euros per person. From here, all the, way to the, end. the castle, of course, is the unmissable site of interest here and a good place to start your visit. The castle has its origins in the 10th century and the park behind the castle you can still see part of the original castle. This is the oldest castle in France. During your visit, you can explore a good number of rooms furnished in the Renaissance style, as well as the gardens and park behind the castle. Like many chateaus in the region, the Chateau de Longer was substantially rebuilt and remodeled in the 15th century and most of what you see today is dates back from the reconstruction that took place in the 1460s for King Louis XI. The suspension bridge across the Loire on the edge of town dates from the 19th century and is a good example of bridge engineering of the period. Although it was rebuilt in the late 1940s after being destroyed in 1940 as a part of the war effort to stop the advance of the German army. There's also a section of the castle from the 10th century with a recreation of the medieval scaffolding. You can play chess in your tree house. You know this is moving?
There are two churches of interest in Langey, the Church of St. John the Baptist, built in the 11th, 12th centuries, but with several later modifications, and also the Church of St. Laurent in the Roman style, and also with origins to the 11th and 12th centuries. We walked up here, we saw a sign that said picturesque. So, that's what we did. You can see the castle and the church in the background from the vantage point. The best way to get from Tours to Chinosu is to take a train, which takes around 35 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on what train you take and if you have to transfer to another train. When leaving from the chateau, make sure if you want to go back to Tours, to follow the directions of the train so to go and get on the right platform. You could be stuck here for the next train. So make sure to note the direction of the trains. The cost is around 18 to 35 euro per round trip and the trains run about every two hours. The entry fee costs around 15 euro per adult. The creperie. The Chateau de Chenosu is a French chateau spanning the river Cher near the small village of in the central Loire Valley. This is where you enter through if you buy your tickets in advance. You don't have to go in there. We want to go to the cellar, the wine tasting. It is one of the best known here. chateaus of the Loire Valley. This castle. estate of Chenosu was first mentioned in the writing back in the 11th century. We thought we would get here early, but rather there's already three tour buses ahead of us. And we got here like shortly after 9.30. Over there is the hedgerow maze. We'll go there later. This castle also goes by another name of the Ladies' Castle. It is because some great women influenced the architecture and development of the chateau over the years. Being that this chateau sits on the shores of the Rocher, this castle and bridge were one of only for miles that one could cross to the other side of the river. For this reason, one of the women that owned the chateau defended it from dis destruction during the war. This chateau is surrounded by beautiful landscape and well manicured parks. In 1547, Henry II offered the chateau to his mistress as a gift. Diane de Portiers became attached to the chateau in that she extended it along the river. 1914 to 1918, the chateau was transformed into a military hospital. Over 2,200 injured and disabled soldiers were treated here during the four years of World War I.
Wine cellar is open 10 to 12.30 if you don't make it in that time. And 1 to 5. And that's it. Um, can we do a tasting, please? Yes, which one do you want to taste? All four. Sorry? Um, all, all four? You have four, right? You can taste three different one. It's 420 by person. Okay. Wait. No, I'll blow it the hotel Bossard second class hotel but they have an excellent breakfast for 8 euro a person no elevator you must take the stairs so if you have heavy luggage that's on you LCD TV on the wall. Queen size bed. It's not that comfortable. Two nights on it stands. There's a power outlet there. There's a small closet here for your things. You have to use this to be able to turn the power on. And the bathroom is here, small, they have a towels, the shower is extremely small, but overall it's functional, paid 